<clears throat> Hello. What I thought I'd do today is demonstrate how to get the player's name to appear in text. So, for example, in a note that would say the player's name is, and then if your name was Steve, it would say Steve. And then also demonstrate how to have an object that has like the player's name as a prefix, so it would be like Steve's object. Uh, I'll do this because I thought it's, it's a fun, interesting little trick to demonstrate how to do. So, to begin with, I'll do it for a note. So, I'll go to the book section and find a note to duplicate. And we can duplicate any any note, uh, really, just at random. And this one looks suitable. So, I'll just give it a unique ID. Tutorial name note. And I'll clear out all this and replace it with... The player's name is... And I'm going to put a colon and then... I've already got this here copied to paste in, so that I know that I don't type it out wrong and mess up the tutorial. So it's all one thing, no spaces. It's these uh, triangular brackets, alias equals player, close triangle brackets. And then we can hit, uh, I'll give this a, a name actually. I'll write the player's name, and I'm going to hit OK, and yes, we want to create a new form. I'm just going to look for the tutorial note, and I'm going to put it into the world now. I can type that in, and there we go, that's exactly on the table. I'm just going to quickly save my plugin. I should have done that before I started. Um, and now, the next section that we have to do is, it might seem like it's not important, but if you don't do this bit, uh, just it will just be blank, it'll just say the player's name is colon and no nothing will show up. Because we need to make it it known what that alias is referring to that we put in the square brackets. So I'm just going to call this tutorial name quest and we don't need to set any of this other stuff. We just hit OK. Because this is never going to be used as a real quest. It's just going to be used for naming stuff. So I'm just going to go to quest aliases and I'm going to create a new reference alias. And I'm going to put in note and I'm going to do a specific reference select forced reference select reference and vendor window and the note that we just made tutorial name note and okay and we're gonna hit note about and now we're gonna to want to select uses stored text and this way it knows that part of the stuff within this note is going to be that the text is going to be replaced and that thing that is going to be replaced is alias equals player and that will be replaced by the player name so that's all we need to do for that one. I'm now going to demonstrate the slightly different process of creating an an object which has the player's name. So in order to do that, we're going to decide on an object we're going to do it to. Now I don't know if you actually need to create a whole unique object because it's going to be renamed via the uh, alias method that we used before. But I think it's probably safer if we do create a duplicate. So I'm just going to put in tutorial Abraxo Cleaner. And if we want it to appear in the player's misc uh, category in the pit boy instead of junk, we can add a keyword. So we're just going to add not junk jet ammo. And I'm going to do that because it's a unique it's a unique item. And I'm going to hit OK and yes, a new form. And I'm just going to put this in the world. And this will be used a little bit later, but for now we're going to go to the messages section now, all the way down here. And there we go, we're going to create a new message. I'm going to call it tutorial name message. And now in the title we're going to put that alias equals player thing back in. Apostrophe S, Abraxo Cleaner. And then we're going to put in the message text, the same thing, alias equals player, apostrophe S. Abraxo Cleaner and hit OK. And now at the moment, those two items are obviously completely divorced from one another, completely separate. So we need to bring them together. So we're going to return to our tutorial name quest and we're going to return to the aliases section and we're going to right click new reference alias. And we are going to do a very similar process to last, last time. We're just going to give this the name. A barack, so like that's not particularly important. Specific reference, select forced reference, select reference vendor window, and we're going to click on the abraxo. There we go, show a little cleaner. And no. 
And now we're going to go to the display name and we're going to look for a message that we just made. Tutorial name message. And again, we're going to use stored text is done uh, automatically. That's handy. It's because that needs to be checked so that again it knows that part of this uh, name is going to be replaced. So essentially, it is going to be replaced by the name, by the contents of that message that we put in, the uh, tutorial name message. So it will come up with the name. Uh, well, whatever your name is, so Steve's Abraxo, because we put the apostrophe S, it'll say Steve's Abraxo Cleaner. So, okay. And save, and I'm just going to jump into the game and demonstrate both of those things. So we're here in Abernathy Farm now, and you can see our items are on the table. Quite so this first one, the player's right. name. The player's name is Laura, and that is my name. You'll just have to take my word like. for it. And we're going to look here at Laura's Abraxo Cleaner. Here it is. This is my, my Abraxo Cleaner, which belongs to me. And it missed, it'll probably appear in here because I put it as not junk jammer. This is a pot where I have to scuff every single fucking thing I've got. Laura's Abraxo Cleaner. See, there it is. So now if I want to store all junk, uh, I won't lose my Abraxo Cleaner. So that is, does it show my name? Yeah, there's my name, Laura. See, that is proof that it's Laura. I didn't edit it in the background. Told me what you um, so that is how that is done. It's just a, a neat little, just a fun little trick you can do. Um, and it's just add a little bit of excitement to your mod if your uh, character's name huh? appears in it. So hopefully that was useful and uh, hopefully that was clear. So thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.